Hello everyone and welcome back to the F1 2014 career mode. We are here in Bahrain for part number two of this series. Uh, at the moment we're just sitting in the garage, just a uh, mechanic, my mechanic just uh, getting all the stuff set up, adjusting the seat bells and whatnot. Uh, again, starting in last place, as I uh, did say to you, or before, it gives me a bit of a challenge in this uh, career mode, because if I always qualify, I'm just going to be winning races, and it will be a bit boring, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, if we just look at the teammate challenge here, I see Vettel dominating me on everything, apart from fastest laps at the moment in time. He's always going to beat me in qualifying, but um, yeah, I'm actually quite glad that uh, me and him are going to be doing well, but nothing much to say. We're just going to get onto the track. This goes the screen off the jacks and onto the track. sit. We sit in last place to five lights. Come on now. It's lights out and away we go. We got some decent start there but still not the greatest of all but now we're gonna compromise that into turn one I'm on the outside where they should be heading for the inside line but never mind as we now fly through it. Max Chilton there just cutting up cut. Now I go for the undercut. And to try to hit the inside line there, there's Adrian Sutil going quite slowly and Kobayashi there up, his, up into 15th place as now we uh, pull to the inside now for turn 4 here, we're going to quickly nip up the inside of all of these cars, there's Perez and there's Valtteri Bottas and there's Kvyat as well, we're going to nip up the inside and we're already into the points here on lap 1 and we have made a very very good start, next up now is Jensen Button in the McLaren, we're going to try and uh, nip up the inside here and now there we go, and now we almost clatter into the back there of Kevin Magnussen, but we just managed to get away with any dramas. So now we're going to push on hard, because I really want to get into the top five here in this Grand Prix. Now we're a little bit too far back to make a move there, and Magnussen went a little bit too wide, wide hat there, had to take a tight route. Now uh, you actually have already seen me race around this circuit before, so uh, it should be not fairly new. Now if you haven't seen the career mode, challenges yet and go check them out but uh, anyway we're here behind Magnussen still and we need to try and compromise this this execute this move as much as we can so now we're going to try get into, into standing now we're going to go to rich mix we burn more fuel so we'll go a bit faster but now we're going to go down a lean mix because now we are trying to head into get him so now this is our opportunity to get him down the pit straight here so here we go we're going to build up the slipstream, building and building and building and now we we'll finally pull alongside and we've got the move way before we've gone into the corner so that's easy P8 there for us so there's Raikkonen having a little go on Hulkenberg who's ahead of him so uh, Raikkonen remember the man who I really struggled to get past in the last race in Australia so now we're going to try and compromise this in Bahrain, so now we're going to go up to turn 4 here, I come from a long way back and easily get in there, so that's very good stuff from us, we're up into P7 now, next up is Holkenberg and Raikkonen just left the door wide open, broke far too early and he just gifted us P7, and now we're going to nip up the inside of Nikon Holkenberg for P6 now, so this has been a much much better start than it was in Australia and now coming into this very tricky 9 and 10 corner like I said before double double left hander there so now we're going to build up the slipstream now for Massa our next man in the Williams and uh, the Mercedes drivers hasn't actually pulled away yet so we'll have to make sure we compromise that to maybe I'm actually going for the win here because as I said in my battle challenge uh, this track really does suit my driving style it's a track I'm very very good at and if I can get a good result here it will be uh, well it'll just be, it'll just be a great day for us but now we're going to build up on Massa could we have a little go into the last corner here we're going to come back from a long way back again and that's another easy move for us and we are up into P4 no P5 now sorry so 
We're already in the top five on that three here. DRS enabled as well this lap. And now Master's coming have a little look back at us here. But we're going to just cover the inside line a little bit. And there's Alonso going on my teammate. And Alonso broke too early because he was battling with Vettel there. So that's us up at the P4 now. And now the next man is our teammate for a podium position. And Vettel has actually got it to a bad start. But I'm going to nip down the inside here. And we finally got him. <coughs> Sebastian Vettel has finally fallen victim to us and we are still going purple here so this has been one of the best starts <coughs> I have ever had ever in, well, in my YouTube videos of Formula 1 but now <coughs> our next man is Lewis Hamilton and the man who leads this championship at the moment after round one now we're going to try and pounce on the back of him now we have DRS enabled as well, so we won't have to burn as much fuel with DRS. But now Hamilton's going defensive into turn 11 here, but we don't care. We've got the DRS, so he breaks far too early as well. And that is it then. We're running one more car to overtake. And it's taken us three laps from starting at the back of the grid. It's taken us three laps to catch up to the leader of this race. That is pretty impressive, and I'm going purple, so this is probably going to be another personal best lap for us as we are in the second Rosberg so we'll have DRS down the pitch straight as well um, and now trying to build, build the pressure up on Nico Rosberg here we go then DRS inactivated and now we are in the slipstream we have uh, got a gap of 1.4 as we move to the inside easy done there and that is it we are into first place and we just all we need to do now is build a gap and just well try putting in as many fast taps as possible really but we're gonna try try my hardest not to uh, mess up just gonna carry on talking because this is probably where the video gets a little bit boring but I'll try and make it as best as I can as we still are going purple through that first sector so it's good stuff to see as then we go down into towards the hairpin of turn 8 I believe that corner is and it's now we got a little bit of massive oversteer coming out of it but anyway we're going to move on from that as Norsberg still looking a little bit scary behind me I'm not totally worried about him at the moment but I will be later on in the race after all the pit stops have been completed my scheduled pit stop is lap 8 if I didn't mention that by the way so coming to the end now of sector two on lap four and we have we've actually got some good fuel at the moment here and we've actually gone slower in the second sector about eight tenths of a second that's quite a lot actually so uh when we reach the second sector i'm lacking a little bit here but uh, never mind as we are one as we've got a gap of 1.5 so rossberg won't have drs coming down this pitch straight there's going to be another little bit of oversteer out of the final corner now on to the pitch straight, it's going to run a little tiny little bit of fuel just to make sure that Rosberg doesn't get anywhere near me down this start from straight and now breaking into the first corner. And there's a bit of bollard in the, uh, the inside there of, of turn one so I hope, uh, well it was, was, it's not going to be moved is it but because uh, this game doesn't really do that sort of stuff but never mind but anyway on lap 5 here we've got, we're just going to stay in a uh, slow mix for the moment just so we can save up all this fuel and then towards the end of the race if we're getting catched we'll just we'll just burn loads and loads and loads of it so we can get that gap and so no one overtakes us and that's already someone in the pits so someone's already making an early stop, I have no idea who it is but so no one we need to worry about at the moment because the only person or the only drivers I'm worried about are two behind me, Wolfsburg and Hamilton. But uh, and the fireworks go off in the background there, as you can see. If you want to turn 11, you'll be able to see them again as we go past this corner just here. And I have actually gone 1.4 1 faster, so I am getting faster and faster as this race goes on. So um, I, I do. Sometimes do manual gears just if I get a little bit bored with that automatic a massive amount of oversteer out of the final corner again. Um, final corner I need doesn't have a 
good relationship, but if we set a new personal best for the race, that's uh, us. Then with a new fastest lap of 138.5. So we're very good. And now we have a gap of 4.2 to Nico Rosberg. So if we keep doing this, we'll just edge it and edge it and edge it until, until we win the race. So we've got two more laps on these option tyres and then we'll or where is it? The prime tire? I don't even know what tire we're on actually. I think we're on the prime tire actually. But uh, I'm not completely sure as we in another mess up going to turn 8 there. And our rear's looking a little bit orange at this moment in time, but we're not going to worry about it too much. As if they start coming a little bit darker. Darker orange and then red is the real. The, real worry so uh, we haven't got anything to do with that though at the moment in time because with these 25% races you don't normally get a lot of tyre wear because well, it depends how well you look after your tyres really but barring is not a massive track to do with tyre wear so we've got nothing to worry about here we are now on lap 6 with a 5.2 gap to Rosberg so we're we're looking pretty good at this moment in time, aren't we, for our, for our P1 position. And this isn't going to be one of our fastest laps of all, but uh, hopefully we can get to 1.1 off the pace. So, uh, not, too good, not too good, but uh, hopefully we can make this one a fast lap as we are. I'm just going to be, be quiet now and let you guys enjoy the Okay guys, I'm back. I hope you guys enjoyed that little lap of no commentary like I did. Uh, I'm going to do that for every race if you didn't hear me say it in the first part, but uh, yeah, just so you can get a little bit of a feel of the sounds. There's not that much to, to listen to at the moment, but we have got a pit stop on our hands on this lap. So uh, it was Hamilton who actually pitted before Rosberg, so Rosberg probably going to pit the same lap as me, which is this lap. I've actually gone faster there through the, through the first sector once again, so we're doing pretty well through that first sector. We seem to be very fast, and it's a turn eight that I can never seem to get right at the moment in time, but we're going to gloss over that as we now pile on the pressure. Look at the gap. Or has Rosberg made his stop? I'm not sure. I think. Oh, let me just have a look. Oh, he has stopped. So, what lap did Rosberg pick then? Am I. I'm, I'm probably like one of the late, latest cars to pit, I think. But that's what my uh, my uh, teammates or my engineers reckon, so I'm just going to go with their strategy. As I am going to go into the pits now, and actually, it should turn. Yeah, I am on the prime tyre, so I think maybe the other driver started on the option, and I started on the prime, so maybe my stint is longer than theirs. So now I need to come into the pits and come in put on a set of option tyres. No, that's prime top. Okay, no, options. Options engineer. Option 
Russian tyres. So I'm into the pits. And let's see how we do. Okay, so yeah, 3.7 is the average time there. So good stop from the teammate. And we are. We've got a massive gap to Nico Rosberg at the moment. And we are still going to have. He's just coming through the final corner now as we leave the pits. So uh, we've come out ahead of Rosberg. So we're going to have to do five laps now on these option tyres, which is no problem at all. So uh, maybe I can send a new fastest lap with these op with these new option tyres on. Because I've probably got the freshest tyres of the field. And I'm just going to look on the mini map to see if anyone else does pit. And someone has pitted. But I have no idea who it is, but someone has come into the pits at this moment in time, so uh, whoever it is, we'll have to wait and see. Now I'm just going to push on and try set a new fastest lap in this race, as I've got a 10.5 gap to Rosberg, so yeah, there's no worries there at all at this moment. Five laps to go before I am crowned winner. And I did have a, a very good feeling that I was going to win this race because as I said it's Bahrain, it's one of the tracks that really suits me and just I can just really get a good flow with it. It's a it's just one of those tracks where you know it's just nice to drive. But anyway enough of the track and let's just get on with the racing. So uh, obviously we're miles off the pace on this lap because we made our pit stop. This next lap I'm gonna try hard try my hardest for a personal best lap. So here we go, down, down towards the start finish straight and we are onto a new lap now. So here we go, four laps to go and let's see if we can get a new personal best. So now just coming up towards turn four here, we're going to break, oh, break a little bit early there, but never mind, as well hopefully that won't cost us too much as we run a little bit wide as well, so when that's not going to compromise up, we're still going purple though. So that's good to see, as now we're going out in towards turn 8, which starts the second sector. So we've got a four, look at that, it's risen, it's risen four seconds in the last lap, I think that is, so that's pretty incredible. I have to say, if that's, if we made four seconds in one lap, that is absolutely extraordinary, because there's no way we could have done that. Jeez. Burn it, well, I'm quite proud of myself now, but anyway, we've still got the fastest lap to presume. Let's see how we are here, yep, we're purple here as well. Right, 20 seconds. Obviously we're going to be quicker than our last lap, by the way, but uh, let's see if we can beat our best lap. So here we go, we're going to go in towards the final corner, and now we're going to put on the acceleration. And look at that, two seconds now it's risen to, so... And we have put a new personal best, it's a 137.2 then, so this is extraordinary from us. We've just absolutely dominated both Mercedes and we've set a new fastest lap, so that's pretty incredible. I don't think anyone else is going to beat that at this moment in time. So, oh, this race has gone absolutely perfect and this is going to be really, really good for our championship hopes. I think this will bump me up to about third in the championship, so we'll have to win and see for that, but um, I think the next track is Canada, Montreal, which is another track you've actually seen me drive at, so there should be no new, should, should be no, uh, you should have seen me race around there before, If you, as I said, if you have seen my backmark challenge videos. So now, lap 11, and it's risen another two seconds. So this Red Bull has really got some pace around this circuit, or maybe it's just I'm doing really well and I have a track I really love. So, no, I don't know what to talk about anymore. Well, we got three laps left before the end of the race. We've already set a new personal best. Our, our fuel is 
brilliant. We've got three laps of fuel to burn. So we might as well go burn it now. We've got to, just got to compromise the exit of corners if I'm in a higher higher mix. But let's see if, how how far I can stretch the gap then. So turning to Rosberg. It's just when you see we're actually coming up to our first back marker and it's a case room, so I have no idea who it is, but uh, we'll have a look when we get a little bit closer. So lots of oversteer because I'm in a rich mix at the moment, burning all the fuel to try and just get rid of some of the fuel in the car. And so this turn four section, 19 seconds the gap is, so this is... wow. To be honest, I wasn't expecting this at all, I was expecting Rosberg to catch me towards the end of the race. And I was going to have to defend like crazy, but uh, this has not gone the way I thought it at all. It's gone completely the opposite. And uh, as we said, getting closer and closer to that back marker, maybe I will be able to pass him in down the start finish straight if I'm in DRS zone, which will uh, be able to get me a few more seconds. As I go a little bit wide there on the exit of turn 11, which isn't going to be good for my. Uh, Lap. So it's going to bring it down a fuel mix. I know I said I was going to stay in the tricks, but that's not really an idea. I've got marbles on my tyres, which made me go a little bit off there and through the penultimate corner. So now we're going to try our very, very hardest to try and get past Kobayashi. So we're in full mix now. We're going to go down towards, I don't even know, deal with range, but near Kobayashi. Realising me and quickly getting out of the way, it thinks Kobe. <laughs> so now we're going to get out of this turn one. That inside, that bollard piece is still on the inside of that turn one, most of the No one has, none of the marshals have gone and bothered to pick it up, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. I'm really trying to compromise the uh, exit. I'm going to spin up the, the rear tyres when it comes to it. Stay with me. So then, spin up. Hopefully this, is a, this has been enjoyable to watch. It was for the first part anyway, when I was overtaking all of those cars. But now we are coming to the end. Um, we have got a 21 second gap, that is absolutely extraordinary and uh, I would love to see what the AI lap times are, they're probably really really long but I don't know, we'll have to wait to find out what the gap is, or well, what the lap times were, sorry. I think that's two tenths off the pace, so that it's not, we're not that far off the pace, if I'm honest. But, uh, we're still not hitting the pace, so it's not brilliant, but on to the final lap now, down the start from the straight. And now it's 22 seconds, so it's just, the gap is just rising and rising and rising every single time. Oops, and I accidentally cut the corner there a little bit, never mind. So now, final time through turn four. I'm really getting the rear wheels sp spinned up there. If that's a word, spinned up. I'm not sure what it is, but now we're coming up to the end of the lap. We're actually coming up to another case room, which is another back marker car. To turn nine and ten, very. Very easy to lock the uh, left front there into that turn 9 and 10 corner, like I said in the uh, previous videos. And we're going to that one again, same corner. It seems to take too much speed through there, but it doesn't matter because now we've only got two more corners to go. Now make that one corner as we've just gone past the penultimate corner. Now we are going to take 
our first win of the season. And we're coming around the final corner. Now putting up into Rich and cross the line in first place. What a race win for us. We have come across the first place. So there we have it, we come home in first position after starting at the back of the grid. That was a very enjoyable race I have to say and that's very good for our championship hopes. Sebastian Vettel coming in to take fourth place and I finally outraced him so hopefully we can keep doing that in this season. Rosberg finishing second, Hamilton third with Vettel fourth, Alonso fifth, Raikkonen sixth, Kevin Magnussen out racing his teammate and he's finished seventh Massa finishing head of Valtteri Bottas and Botten finishing in tenth so that's the top ten for this Grand Prix let's just have a look at the championships second in the driver's championship. well look at that seven points Rosberg is away from me but we are five points behind Lewis Hamilton for this championship so it's very very close at the moment and Ricardo no sorry no so Vettel is three points off Rosberg so the top four is very very close it goes Mercedes Red Bull Mercedes Red Bull so no idea what's going to happen there as for constructors Mercedes still lead we are only eight points behind them so if we can get some good results in these next couple of races coming up then we'll be able to hopefully overtake them uh, thank you ever so much for watching this F1 2014 episode probably record the next one tomorrow depending if I get time or not which I'm sure I will but anyway thank you for ever so much for watching this video if you're new don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel this has been jj master and i'll see you all again in the next one bye bye guys